in this blazer tutorial today i would like to discuss cascading values and parameters cascading values and parameters provide a convenient way to flow data down a component hierarchy from an ancestor component to any number of descendant components here i repeat unlike component parameter it can flow data down to any number of descendant components i already discussed in my another episode of this playlist components parameter can flow data down only to first descendant component as you know components are the basic building block of blazor application components are the part of ui here we can see a component structure of blazor application uh, we can see these components are nested they are in subtree parent one is an ancestor component it has two number of descendant components they are child one and grandchild one this number could be high it could be three or four this parent two is under separate tree it has no relation with parent one so we might have a requirement to pass a single value to entire component hierarchy or a component hierarchy within a subtree now i could summarize definition of cascading values and cascading parameters cascading values are the values that will pass down to entire component hierarchy or component hierarchy within a subtree and cascading parameters are the parameters we use to consume that value inside the components blazor supports two types of cascading values first type is root level cascading values we can register this type of cascading values inside program.cs file and that value can be consumed in entire component hierarchy we need to use add cascading value extension method of service collection to register root level cascading values second type is cascading value component we can define this type of cascading value inside an ancestor component and that value can be consumed in component hierarchy within a subtree blazor has built in component called cascading value which we can use to define this type of cascading value inside an ancestor component let's see how we can define root level cascading values and parameters to, de to define root level cascading values you need to register cascading value inside the program.cs file using add cascading value extension method then you need to define a parameter of same type inside the component where you want to consume it is important that type will be same of cascading value an attribute will be cascading parameter unlike component parameters it does not require an attribute assignment for each descendant component where the data is consumed this is my demo application uh, this customer and counter are parent component they have no relations between them but the customer has the descendant component display customer and the counter has a descendant component child counter and child counter has a descendant component grandchild let's run the application this is the application we can see from browser so this is the customer component and the counter component let's create a class for defining cascading values i'm adding a class inside the models folder the class name with theme info and i'm adding a property like public public string 
submit button class public string git button class public string delete button class private set so inside link constructor of theme info now i'm defining this type uh, inside the program.cs file to register as a root level cascading value here builder.services add cascading value and here i need to pass lambda theme info so resolve time spaces let's use the bootstrap classes that's all this value becomes say root level cascading value we can use this value inside any components of this application so let's use inside the grandchild component So to consume this cascading value, I need to add a cascading parameter here. Visibility of this parameter must be public and the type must be same of the cascading value and it is theme info. An attribute will be cascading parameter. So let's save. Now I can add a submit button class. Let's add this cascading parameter uh, inside the counter component. Here it is. So let's declare here. Also, I need to resolve the namespaces of the theme info classes. So here it is. So let's change this hard coded button classes. Add from the theme, the cascading value. And also let's add this theme info inside the customer component also. Here, let's change this button class of this create customer button. Also, inside the display customer, which is the child component of customer component, and change the hard coded class name of edit button to be edit button class, and as well as the hard coded class name of delete button it will be delete button class here we can see the, see the customer edit dialog let's add this parameter inside this component also so let's change the hard coded class name of this component here let's save and let's run the application where we can see the create customer the class comes from the root level cascading value so if i click the create customer we can see the model and model uh, submit button class also comes from the cascading value and here here we can see the edit button class it also comes from the cascading value also we can see the counter component both button class name comes from the cascading value uh, we can also use a root level cascading value with name in this approach we can define more values of same type let's open a program.cs file so so let's add a cascading value with 
the name see here I'm adding the name is counter let's change this class name this is the submit button class name I'm adding here VGN info let's consume this cascading value inside the counter component here it is so I need to add a name here and name is counter let's save and see in browser and now we can see the class name is changed only for the count uh, which is inside the counter component but not for grand child button let's add a name inside the grand child component so here let's save and let's see in browser now we can see these two buttons are using same class whereas the create customer is using different class let's see how we can use blazor cascading value component to define cascading value that can only be consumed inside components of a subtree here counter is an ancestor component it has two degree of descendant components let's add cascading value inside this component so here so i can define the cascading hello like this way the child component need to add inside the cascading value need to pass a value so here i'm adding a history of type string the cas cascading value of type string here i name it button class pass this button class to this value property and inside the grand child component which is the second degree of descendant components of counter components let's add a let's change this code here i am adding the string type should be string and we could use whatever the name so it could be theme info or it could be the class name change the class name here let's save here we can see the button color of the grandchild component has been changed